Are you ready to load your instinct? Hi everybody, if you think this is just another stream video from Beretta, please bear in with it in a few more minutes because what we're about to show you now is something you've never seen before. Hello everybody from all around the world, my name is Ricardo Olivieri, I'm product manager for hunting and competition shotguns and rifle. That's right, rifle. So today Beretta is introducing the most innovative and new rifle that's available in the market for big game hunting. Ladies and gentlemen and hunters, may I present to you the BRX-1, the first Beretta big game hunting rifle. As you can see, at first glance of the rifle, you will notice very interesting things. On a first look, it might look familiar to some other rifles we have on the market, but extra attention was paid to the design of this product, either from the aesthetic, the quality, the surface finishing, up to the internal sides about safety materials and everything we use. Let's talk about a little bit about safety. So when it comes to safety controls, uh, as you can see on the gun, on the, we have a top mounted safety, which basically has three positions. The first position will be uh, on, the, uh, on the safety will be when you have everything blocked. So trigger is uh, disengaged, the hammer, yes, it's a hammer fire uh, rifle, is blocked and you have also a block ball. This is the kind of safety you use to store your rifle away or when you are, uh, let's say, uh, going up the mountains, up and down with the rifle in the back and you have the gun loaded, but you have to be in complete safety. Then we have a second position, which is the intermediate position where you can load or unload your rifle, being sure that your trigger is disengaged and you're in total safe. This is just to handling the rifle and avoid, especially in cold weather or in any, let's say, uncomfortable situation to unload the rifle uh, on safety. Last position will be fire and reload position where you have to push the safety all the way to the top. So this is basically a, a kind of safety thumb top mounted safety, if we can call it like that, that you don't find in most of the rifles you can buy in the market. So it's uh, very different from some of the traditional bolt action rifles and some other rifles from our main competitors. Another thing uh, we focused a lot was on the trigger. So the trigger system for this kind of platform rifle is a hammer fire trigger, which means that we have a hammer that is the one uh, giving the energy to the firing pin to start everything, uh, let's say, the, the round inside the chamber. So this hammer system is something, hammer fire uh, or hammer type of triggers is something we've been doing for a long time now. All our semi-autos, some of our over and unders, and uh, many of the assault rifles, all of them actually have this type of system. So the knowledge and all the experience we had either from the military and competition world was applied in, the, in this kind of system to have an extra safe, let's say, trigger and with some other features that we're going to talk, uh, let's say, later. Another, uh, let's say, small detail that I like to remind is the high visibility magazine, which is removable. Uh, this high visibility magazine is also made of a technopolymer in uh, a bright orange. So it actually uh, serves as a visual warning in case you have a magazine inserted of the gun. So it's, uh, you know, extra details just to make sure that the gun is potentially the safest gun we have around there. A little bit more about the things uh, of this safe mechanism is, uh, and most of you are wondering, since it's a linear reloading system, which means that you are doing only two movements when reloading the rifle instead of doing four or different kinds of movements, it's uh, in some, let's say, areas, it is also referred as a type of straight pull action or linear reloading system. At the end of the day, it's still a manual repeating rifle, and we paid extra attention to the closing mechanism of this kind of uh, uh, firearm. So just to give you an idea, uh, we basically went for a standard rotating ball head, the same we use on our assault rifle. So it's a very common system being used for a long time. So nothing new here. Basically, we adapted this system to what is today the platform that we have here with us. 
there's two different, let's say, uh, types of locking mechanisms depending on the caliber. Of course, if you're using standard calibers, we will have a, an eight lock, let's say, bolt head that closes into the action. Pretty similar to the ones you have in any modern sport turn rifle, AR-15, or some of our ARX series of assault rifles. So rotating bolt head, which depending on the caliber can have one row of fins or two rows of fins. This is just to give the extra robustness uh, needed to support all the energy and the pressure generated for, by many of these calibers. Since we are also a factory that makes military grade weapons and some guns that need to be NATO, let's say approved, we wanted to go further and not stay with the standard CIP testing procedures that we have for, uh, let's say, sporting rifles. And we decided to do all those tests that uh, are, you know, any approved NATO rifle needs to pass in order to be, uh, let's say, uh, safe according to NATO standards. For those of you that are wondering how severe this uh, NATO style test we did on the gun, let's ask to our quality manager at Beretta Factory who will go deeper in detail with these numbers. Hello, my name is Davide Prezioso and I'm the Beretta Brand Quality Director. Today, I'm here to describe the approach we have performed during validation process of the new Beretta BRX-1 carbine. During the product and process design, which include all the testing and validation stages, several technical choices and test methods have been inherited from our long experience in the military field. During the BRX-1 development, uh, we invested more than 60,000 man hours, equal to 35 people. We tested 165 individual carbines from prototype stages, tryout samples, till the pre-series runs. We performed more than 30 different validation test procedures on the gun. We shot more than 120,000 cartridges representing 70 ammo types to guarantee the full ammo compatibility worldwide. All the tests took place in our facilities in full respect of the company safety requirements, following the worldwide military international standards, regularly applied and in use for the NATO qualification process. Each carbine is proof tested by the Italian National Proof House with two overpressure shots. Our R&D testing department has overperformed the National Proof House test, firing more than 200 overpressure shots in row in the same carbine, and the locking mechanism was still in the CIP standards. The obstruction in the barrel test, obstruction by projectile, is one of the most impressive tests derived from the military standards and the purpose of this test is to ascertain the potential danger to the shooter and the damage to the weapon resulting from overpressure due to firing when the barrel is obstructed. The barrel obstruction is achieved on purpose by ramming a projectile into it by mechanical means until a given point is reached. A live round is then introduced and fired when all the necessary safety precautions have been taken. Thanks to the geometry of the BRX-1 locking system and to the high quality steel of the barrel tube, the test has never caused any passing through crack. As far as the weapon performances are concerned, the endurance tests are a key important. Our testing team performed several endurance tests to reach 10,000 rounds each time. The objective of the test was to determine the reliability to verify the endurance performances of the carbine and the serviceability of the parts. We also confirmed that the accuracy performances on the carbine during the lifetime. We also checked the temperature. We made temperature analysis in rapid firing modes. The endurance tests were also the best situation to monitor the temperature of the gun while firing in sustained firing mode. We tested the adverse conditions according to the military standards. High temperature tests 
at uh, plus 54 degrees Celsius, corresponding to 125 Fahrenheit. And the cold test, minus 52 degrees Celsius, corresponding to minus 65 Fahrenheit, have been tough tests to be performed. These tests are to determine the effect of extreme cold and high temperature to the gun. After 24 hours, the gun is uh, tested functioning, firing two magazines, and no malfunctions were recorded. The accelerated water spray test is to determine the effect of heavy rainfall on the performances of the carbine, simulating 12 hours of heavy rainfall in approximately 80 minutes of real time. The spray of water is to be directed over the entire weapon by means of a special shower head positioned one meter above the weapon. Each stage of the BRX-1 design and each single test have been the result of a group of persons extremely passionate, talented and knowledgeable, laser focused and result driven. It is impossible for me to name all of them now, but the BRX-1 carbine we are presenting is the outcome of the effort and patience of each single person involved. As we have now completed the description of all the military validation processes, let's go and see what about the manufacturing processes. Welcome to the Beretta production. We have just started the production activities of the new BRX-1, the Beretta rifle platform that we are launching on the market. Surely one of the main component is uh, the barrel. The barrel is uh, the core business of Beretta. Beretta was born as a barrel manufacturer and is still producing barrel not only for Beretta but for all the uh, group. The barrel is made with our cold forging process that guarantee the accuracy of our weapon. In fact, the cold forging can guarantee the perfect coaxiality between the chamber and the bore. And this is of a paramount importance for the accuracy of the weapon. The other components that we are producing here at the Beretta facility are the ball carrier of the weapon and the luminous receiver. The ball carrier is a very complex component, as you can see. This is produced on our five axis milling system because it requires a very high precision system in order to meet the quality standard required by the weapon. The precision of the standard is of paramount importance for the perfect functioning of the weapon. At the same time, we are producing the aluminum receiver. It's a different material, but the precision required by our milling operation are exactly the same of the ball carrier. So the quality of the receiver is very important to have a perfect weapon that can satisfy the needs of our customer. I have to thank you, my team, for the effort that they are placing in these activities. And I'm sure that we will succeed also in this challenge. Great, now let's keep talking about more of the very interesting features that this gun, this, gun uh, this rifle has. One of the main things about this gun, of course, safety first, gun is unloaded, is the fact that the balance is excellent. And this is something we learned from the competition world where in uh, shotgun shooting specifically, balance is of utmost importance for anything that has to do when moving a gun and shooting precise shots. So this gun is no exception. Basically the balance and all the weight is mostly concentrated between the hands, making it very easy to handle. One of the other things about this linear reloading system, as I said before, is it only requires two movements to reload the gun. So basically when you're reloading the gun, you're not tilting your gun to one side to then cycle it, reload it, and then close the action. This, if compared to traditional bolt action, is much faster. And in fact, you can see that the reload is very, very fast. One of the things and the advantage of this is first, uh, you reduce speed in reloading and you reduce the time of your defocusing from your side and refocus again to acquire the target in a faster 
way. So this is very important and you will notice the difference once you're shooting this gun very fast. One more thing that I would like to say that I love about this gun and it's something you will never find in any other rifle is the fact that you can transform without any tools this gun from a uh, right-hand configuration to a left-hand configuration. In this case, as you can see, the bolt is on the right side of the bolt group and the ejection is set up to be on the right side of the gun. We have a 180 degree uh, ejection with a wide port. You can either reload from the top and from the bottom. So one of the things that's very important about this is without any tools, I just can simply take out the central part of the bolt, turn it around, use my trusty Beretta pen here just as a tool, small tool to push the small bottom right here, which can be done with the tip of a bullet or whatever thing you find in the, in the forest or in your garage. Take the central part of the bolt, rotate it 180 degrees, then slide it back in. Once all these small steps are done, the gun is actually set up for a left hand configuration. So now that we have the gun set up for left hand configuration, I'm gonna show you one last thing that's actually also very cool and very important. All these parts are interchangeable, meaning that basically you can buy all of these parts on the internet in the case you have uh, some accident, meaning that you drop the gun or something wrong happened with it, or you maybe run over it with your car, whatever. You can still buy all these components online and you can just drop it in and they will work. They are all compatible and this is very important. Always using my trusty pen right here, I can just push up this small lever on the back of the trigger group and I have right here my trigger group which is all independent and it can be set up in three weight position. Just by simply using your thumb to adjust from one weight to the other, you can go from one kilo in weight with a single stage trigger up to one and a half with an intermediate adjustment. Let's put the gun back together again just to show you how easy and fast this is. Push the lever. Mount the gun. And that's it. As you can see, these are very easy steps and very things that you can adjust easily without any tools, even if you are outside in the bush, even if you are in the range, whatever. It's something very unique and very specific about the gun. Also the central safety, it's perfect whether you're using it with your right thumb or with your left thumb. So we've gone so far, but we haven't talked about one of the most important things about the rifle, which is accuracy. So let's get deep into it. Of course, when we're talking about a hunting rifle, accuracy if, is one of the most important things about the rifle. We have a couple of things that we want to show you of why this rifle is so accurate, what helped this rifle to become so accurate. For example, if we take a look at the bedding geometry, the bedding geometry fixes the barrel always in the same position, it's always there. So it's uh, very stiff and actually guarantees us to, even when we'll be, we will have in the future the possibility to buy the conversion caliber kits to mount one barrel or one caliber and swap it in the gun, being very sure that once you mount the gun again, you're gonna be pretty much in center. One of the other important things that we can say about this type of rifle is also how the barrel is made. Everything is cold hammer forge. When I say everything is the bore of the rifle, the bore of the barrel, sorry, and the chamber are all made out of one piece of metal, all hammer forged together. This is something not everybody can do. And what we guarantee about uh, this type of construction of the barrel is that you will always have 100% concentricity between the chamber, of the cartridge chamber, and the bore. So basically, this also improves accuracy and improves also the life of the gun. If you go forward, when we talk about accuracy, every single rifle will be provided with an accuracy certificate. This means that Every rifle, every serial number, to be more uh, specific, will have its own accuracy certificate that is downloadable from the web, Beretta.com, or you can find a QR code in your packaging where you can scan it and go straight to the page, to the landing page, where you will put all your contacts, serial number, and download this accuracy certificate in a PDF format. Also in the future, if you are one of those uh, hunters that prefer to have a multi-caliber gun, or, so, or let's say one rifle with different calibers, you will also have that possibility. 
The possibility and the advantages of our multi-caliber type of weapon is that every time you change the barrel, you're just leaving the optic attached to the barrel. So basically, when you swap one barrel with optic with another, your center will be maintained or the variation will be minimal when it comes to hunting purposes. This is also one thing that I like to mention and it's one of my favorite features about the rifle. When you will buy the conversion caliber kit in the future, uh, beginning of 2022, most likely, we will have the barrel itself, the bolt head and the magazine, depending on the caliber you're buying. Another good important thing about the rifle and when we talk about the rifle is the ecosystem. So everything that comes together or let's say builds together this rifle. So you will find from now also available in the aftermarket tripods and every kind of accessories that you can imagine that you can use on this rifle. One of the cool things about the rifle is that all the information will be downloadable from the web. Digitally, we will have uh, three QR, QR codes on our standard packaging. If not, you can still go to Beretta.com and download all this information. As you can see, there's a lot of things about this rifle, a lot of cool things. So please go to your local gun shop, ask about this rifle, because I'm sure you won't be disappointed. We saw the details with which it is produced, and now it's time to put on our goggles and our earmuffs and see what happens on the field with BRX1. Follow me. I'm here with Giulio Landini of Armi e Tiro. Giulio, the first in Italy to try BRX1. What are your impressions? Well, my impressions, uh, first of all, thank you for this opportunity. My impressions were immediately excellent during the briefing. We spoke about Beretta's objective to reach a uh, mint of ang angle MOA at various distances. I tried 300, 100 meters away. The result was confirmed. Five rounds below MOA, despite a warm barrel from previous uh, sessions. So I must say that my impression was excellent. You're a great shooter, but you found a, a, a gun which is very performing, a very precise. Yes, it was very performing, and I was a little bit surprised because this is certainly not a competition rifle, and its uh, profile and its barrel is very slim. We use commercial uh, race 100 and. 75 sacco grain uh, rounds and despite this the performance was of the highest level thank you very much and now come with me and let's see what happens at the running target with brx1 I'm now with Laurent Bedou of the uh, Review Connaissance de la Chasse. Hello, Laurent. We are having great fun and we are discovering incredible qualities of this BRX1. What do you think about it? What is your feeling? The impressions are good, Roberto. I really like this rifle. I find it definitely modern. It is linear. It's always uh, with its synthetic stock and also with its interchangeable barrel and a very precise trigger block. It's very pleasant and we were able to test it all day long precision is there uh, smoothness of operation and I admit that I really like the rifle I think that with its qualities and its very interesting price it has everything to succeed thank you very much for your lovely words and why is uh, this uh, uh, linear uh, reloading system so important for our hunter friends I believe that speed is something that we are all looking for in hunting drives and in France we now have a fairly large number of boars and everybody dreams of being able to overtake a boar tw twice or three times and here we have a five shot capacity magazine, a linear rifle and especially the mechanism is very smooth, very soft and in fact you can have a very very quick shooting sequence and I also like the trigger unit with the three adjustable weights. It allows you to choose your own start and therefore to sequence shooting with a lot of peace of mind and serenity. Thank you. Thank you, Laurent. And let's uh, do a challenge then. Let's uh, see who's better at the running target.
And now I'm here with my friend Martin Grasberg of the well-known review uh, Vaidwerk. Thank you for being with us. BRX is a very interesting uh, uh, product, also for middle European hunters. What are your feelings? What I particularly like is the modularity of the weapon so that you can convert it from a right-handed shooter to a left-handed shooter in seconds. I also like the speed of firing and reloading. This is becoming more and more important because there are more and more uh, quota for hunting and it will be necessary to regulate, for example, the wild boar population in the future. Fantastic. Thank you. One of the fundamental aspects of this product is safety. What was your personal experience with this product? What I like is the three position lock on one side and then the innovative solution for the lock with the eight locking lugs. This is safety. Thank you. Let's continue our field tests and our precision tests on the field with BRX1. I'm here with Patrick Roman, marketing manager at Sako Sweden. Hello, Patrick. Today is a day full of enthusiasm. We're having great fun testing BRX1. Yes, it's been a really great day. The, speaking from the Swedish market's point of view, this, this rifle is it's going to be awesome, or it is awesome. And also speaking to the other European uh, people here today, it's, everybody is really excited and we will, we will make a splash with this one. Patrick, when uh, BRX, when will it be available for the members of Beretta tribe in the uh, best dealers in the world? It's available at dealers all around Europe as of today. <laughs> and what calibers will be available? It's uh, 308, uh, 3006 and 300 Win Mag. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. Coming. Coming. One of the fundamental aspects is uh, the uh, value for money of this product. Yeah, I think that what you get for the money, it's sort of uh, like you always say, you get good value for money, but this, this time it's really true because the rifle is packed with, with novelties and the price is, yeah, it's a really interesting price point. What is the price point we will find this in our dealers? Oh, uh, it's uh, the price is uh, 1,549 euros. So, yeah, go get it. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Grazie. Now over to you. Come and see us on www.beretta.com and find the closest field test. Come and discover with us the new BRX1. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Beretta Private Collection. I'm surrounded by some, by some of the most incredible products that have done the history of our industry. And I'm pretty confident that the new Beretta rifle, the BRX-1, will soon find a place, a prominent place in this incredible room. Why have we developed a rifle? Well, Beretta has always been serving hunters all over the world. Beretta brand and hunting are linked together since centuries, but we have done that uh, mainly focusing uh, on small games, uh, with uh, great shotguns in particular. But we always looked uh, at the big and medium game as a great opportunity. We challenge uh, our internal team to find uh, solutions, uh, an idea, a product that could be innovative and different and enter Beretta into that segment, uh, and I think uh, we have done so successfully. And this has been possible thanks to the fact that our R&D team has been working for decades on rifles for military applications. The rifles that have been developing, manufacturing and distributing around the world for military world for the operators that look after the freedom of citizens in many countries around the world are renowned for their accuracy, their modularity, their reliability, their safety, their ergonomics. And this immense know-how has been implemented into the new Beretta hunting rifle. I'm really excited by the result that we have achieved and I would like to thank 
the incredible people that work on this project, not only the people inside uh, my R&D team, the quality, the manufacturing, uh, the, the industrialization team, but also the experts uh, outside the company that help us uh, to be in contact with the final consumer, to understand their needs, uh, what uh, the makes a uh, hunting experience really different and transform this into feature of this incredible product. An incredible uh, team effort uh, that, uh, as a result, uh, uh, is uh, now in the best gun shops uh, of uh, Europe and the world. So I really urge you to go and see the product, test the product and enjoy a completely new hunting experience. It's time to load your instinct.